Uh, a top of the morning to you all, welcome and thanks for joining us for the latest news and the latest updates wherever you are and where you're tuning in from. We are very grateful, but kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates. Ugandan Parliament to spend 9.8 billion shillings annually for MPs office rent. The Parliamentary Commission will pay 9.8 billion shillings per year for 9,030 square meters within Kingdom Kampala. Parliament Director of Communications and Public Affairs Chris Obore said, Parliament is resolving the office crisis issue. Once again, thanks for joining us. Uh, let's take a quick look into some of these details. Parliament will spend 9.8 billion shillings per year to rent office space for MPs at Kingdom Kampala Building, a multi-purpose building is in the heart of Kampala. Mr. Chris Obore, the Parliament's Director of Communications and Public Affairs, told one of the medias that the House is resolving the office crisis issues. The Parliamentary Commission will pay 9.8 billion shillings per year for 9,030 square kilometers within Kingdom Kampala. In addition to the office space, there will also be parking space for 300 vehicles. Uh, the contract will start on 15th of July and run for a period of two years, Mr. Obore said on, at the weekend. This is, however, on short term, on short term basis, the long term will be completion of the new parliament chambers, which will create more space for MPs, uh, he added, and some section of MPs had previously expressed worry over the process of office allocation and distribution. In response to these concerns, Mr. Obore said, there is no MP who will operate with the, without an office. Parliament will easily be able to allocate spares for the members of parliament once committees are in place. So we are waiting for the constitution of committees of the house and then allocate and then the allocation of offices will start, he said. According to Mr. Obore, committee chairpersons are given priority by being allocated space within parliament building and the responsibility will fall daily under the sergeant at arms who will rationalize the allocation of offices and committee rooms. Besides Kingdom Kampala building, the August House will continue renting office space as the case was in the 10th Parliament at Victoria's Chambers, which is neighboring Parliament, Building Development House, and Queen's Chamber, both on Parliament Avenue. Yeah, that means the, the rest will keep on staying in the 10th Parliament, I mean in Victoria's Chamber, as the case that was in the 10th Parliament, and Victoria's Chamber, which is neighboring Parliament building, a uh, developing house, and Queen's Chamber, both are on Parliament Avenue. So the MPs are still working on finding their offices because they are having crisis in finding rooms for their meetings and settles. Uh, well, that is it for now. We will keep on updating with more of this. Thanks for watching. But kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates.